So this is a cool blast from the past. I was actually teaching one of my new students. He's a chef. Um, if you want to click the link below, you can see my talk with the chef and one of my new millionaire students, Jack Schwartz. We went to his amazing restaurant uh, just outside of Seattle. One of the top chefs in America, Chef Blaine, amazing guy. And after the camera stopped, I also showed, uh, you know, Blaine this great video from the past from one of my millionaire students, Mike Huddy, where he captured this perfect morning panic on SHMP. This was two plus years ago. I don't even think I, I did a video. I think the file was too big. I tried to put it on my uh, channel. I never did before. So this video is Mike Huddy catching um, this perfect morning panic in SHMP. It was a beautiful supernova. It was up from like 10 cents to nearly a dollar in a few days. In one fine morning, it dropped from a dollar down to 51 cents. I actually did dip by, you don't see that on this video because this was Mike Huddy's screen, but he screen recorded the whole thing. I actually dip bought it at 51 cents. I flipped it, I made a few thousand dollars. I think I flipped it around 60 cents um, or 65 cents. I could have made more. It actually bounced all the way from 50 to 80. But in this video, you'll see Mike Huddy he was actually shorting it. He made a few thousand short. Then he flipped long. He made a few thousand long. But this is a perfect morning panic. If you click the link below, I'll post two blog posts on morning panics. They don't happen this perfectly. This SHMP, uh, you know, from 10 to a dollar over several days, then a dollar to 50 cents in one morning in like 15 minutes with huge amounts of liquidity. We haven't seen something this perfect in a while, let alone Mike Huddy props to him for recording it so that you can see the drop, you can see the turn on level two. If you've seen my level two DVD, you know a very big part of dip buying is, is watching the turn and catching the turn. Um, so I think this, this video does a great job. Leave a comment below um, if you watch the whole thing and you say, and, he, and mean it, but say, I understand morning panics better. And I think that everyone's gonna leave that comment if you watch this whole video. It's fantastic. Thank you again, Mike Huddy. Thank you to all my students who are, you know, not just making money, but also creating content to help the community um, do even better. That's what I love about my Millionaire Challenge. Um, you know, Huddy was a, a great challenge student in the beginning, just studying, but it took him a little while to size up. Now he has, and he's doing fantastic. And as you can see in this video, he's also um, amazing at, at showing the patterns. And I'm, I'm very proud to show you this. Check it out, take notes, watch it repeatedly if you have to. Hey guys, so 30 minutes to market open this morning, and I wanted to go over what I'm watching real quick. Um, it's one of those really ideal patterns that doesn't come around too often, and you really have to be prepared to nail these because they really make the difference in your account. So the talk of the town of the past you know week or so has been this shrimp company, which has gone from roughly five cents a share all the way up to eighty nine and currently gapping up. And this is one of those situations where it's an OTC listed stock, so we're looking at the OTC short setup. It's got, you know, five, six or seven consecutive green days without really having a red day. And what we're taught to believe and trust in is that the further and further this extends in its pattern, the harder and harder the hard crack or pull will be when it eventually loses steam. So I'm really watching it for that. Um, and, and it's tough. You know, I've been, I've been shorting the, the morning spikes and then covering the dips as they've been holding. Uh, every day, shrimp has been kind of uh, panicking towards the end of the day and causing short traps. And these short traps are what lead to this massive, massive squeeze. But when the party is over, the party will be over and this will fizzle back down just like any other company that has had one of these runs. Um, so my goal today would be to, you know, short a green red move like OTC short setup uh, tells you to do. Um, but we might not get that right out the open. Uh, you can see right now shrimp is currently gapping up 90 cents by 93 and it closed at 85 cents yesterday so we are having kind of a little gap here five eight cents which is a little bit you know bigger than i would expect if i was going to short weakness out the gate i wouldn't want a strong gap up now since this is gapping up kind of strong the other option is to um shorten the spikes and cover dips like i've been doing this past three days um, and so I'll be looking for it to spike into, into excessive spiking. I'll be watching the level two. I'll be watching the time and sales tape. <coughs> and I'll be looking for turns. And I might take a couple paper cuts, but um, I'm sure you guys have all seen FNMA. 
It's uh, one of Itani's most famous trades, and this is kind of setting up like a very similar setup to that. And so it becomes within my best interest to start shortening into strength on a stock that's still green on the day, expecting those pulls to get really ugly. So if this does excessively spike, I'll be going after that strength, looking for the level two turns, looking for the time and sales tape, and looking for stuff in action. If we don't gap up this strong, we kind of weaken towards the open, we still have 30 minutes, then I'll see which way the level two starts to turn. And if we look like we're, starting, we're looking like we're going towards green red and we're about to panic, I might take a preemptive short <clears throat> expecting that green red panic and then just tell myself that I'm risking off yesterday's highs, which would be 94 cents. And if I have to cut it, so be it. So that's the plan I'm going into today. I'm um, going to get ready here for the next 25 minutes and then just record this whole thing as uh, we need to remember these types of plays. All right, guys, we're getting close to market open. It's about six minutes from market open. And uh, SHMT is gapping rather largely right now. We got a 12% gap up over yesterday's highs. And so what that leads me to believe is that it might have a kind of open where it had yesterday, where you know it gapped up relatively from the 60 cents all the way up to 72. So it had that kind of 10% plus gap up, spiked really nicely out of the gate, and then came back down and held that double bottom right here at 70 cents. And so I kind of believe that the same thing is going to happen today with the whole um, idea that, you know, that pull might get kind of ugly and I might miss the top if I don't short that first turn. Um, and that's fine. If I miss that first turn and it pulls into red and then has that really hard slam back down to 60 cents, like if I miss it, that, that'd be a bummer. But I know that there's going to be a really sweet bounce to play into. Uh, and also a dip buy. So even if I do miss the initial top, you know, I'm not just going to stab at something that's not ideal uh, and risk getting squeezed into the dollar fifties with huge size. So, you know, my plan is to let it spike if it's going to gap up this much and then go after turns into very excessive spiking. Uh, and if it does just completely fall apart right out of the gate, then I'll look for that first bounce uh, and try to get that nice risk reward on that bounce. And I'll use a level two to guide me because it's going to be a, in a time of volatility. So um, I'm going to let the market open in four minutes. I'll replay the video and uh, I will narrate when I seem fit. Um, you'll have my level two on the screen, so you'll kind of see me putting in entries and orders. And uh, we'll just see how it plays out. Um, you know, it's very, it's a very, very extended stock. These are, you know, the kind of stocks where you skip school and uh, you got to play these. <laughs> um, this is going to change your account. And whether you buy the long at, you know, this breakout right here or this breakout down here, I mean, this could really change your account long or short. And, um, you know, the volume is a telltale sign. And you got to realize that these are the plays you got to play and these are the ones you need to focus on. Because these are the ones that are going to increase your account overnight, double. So I'm just going to let the market open and uh, see how it works out. All right, market is open. We have gapped up above yesterday's highs. And um, I'm trying to spike here. Ask is pretty stacked, more stacked than the bid. And I do want to take a small stab here, but risky it really hasn't done anything for me to really be shorting big and i really don't like it looks like we're really trying to push up to new highs kind of turning here on the level two though And this is kind of the week open I expected. So again, if I'm shortened up here, it's that high of day risk, expecting this pull to get a lot uglier than normal, considering the extension. I don't have much size, because I do expect this 
turn to hold that green red and then start spiking towards high of day. And it might even break high of day. So I'm keeping my risk at high of day, I'm shorting a set underneath it. And if I start to see it gather itself and really start to spike hard, and then I'll cover and I'll, I'll allow for a cent or two of slippage. The key is I'm not chasing it down right now. I mean, I won't even allow for two cents of slippage. Because if it does break high of day, I could get trapped. So I don't want my size too big yet. But now it looks like we're catching into the 91 cent area. So I had to get off my laptop for a second and see how many shares I had. That's why I paused the video. But it looked like we tried to bounce there at 90 cents and really couldn't uh, bounce. And now it's looking like big prints are going through. So I have 5,000 shares from the top right now. Oh my God, we just cracked under low day. So this is the kind of thing that I really didn't want to get scared into. And it just happened. I just got scared into it. All right, sorry for the choppiness of that video. I have 36, 30,000 shares right now. And you can see we just dropped under. And uh, that's what the panic looks like. And unfortunately, I didn't get that turn right here at 90 cents where it really just failed to bounce. Um, I had to go manage my position. And I really had no idea how many shares I was taking in the moment. So I had to flip through a couple windows to figure that out. And that probably co cost me a couple thousand shares of position size. Um, but right now, I got, I got about 30,000 shares from 84 cents, roughly. And uh, I'm just letting it play out at this point. So I'm just going to be watching the level two. The bidders come down and, and pressure the, the ask. And uh, you'll see the prints that keep going below. All right, so I have 32,900 shares. So I got a good amount, but not the 150,000 I really wanted. So far, we're just completely pressuring. Ask is stacked, bid is weak. And I'm looking for size to start going through on the time and sales. And so far, no size is really printing, and we're printing below the best bid. And the ask is still stacked, so I figure we're still pressuring down. And there we go, we just lost the bidders. Now into the 65 cents. We're still pressuring. I still see some asks. Some bigger bigger prints going through now, but we're still pushing through. No matter how much size, we still knock down penny by penny. So I actually think that the sellers are in complete control right now. Be a bounce soon. So I got some shares ready to just toss out in case I need to cover quickly. Sixty one cents seems to be holding right here. It's trying to hold. Covered a little bit, just in anticipation of this holding. And we tried to turn, and, and we, looks like we're not going to, looks like we're really going to try. 61 still defending, the prints are still going through, and we just lost it. So, you know, a lot of longs just tried to buy that and just got completely torn into water. So you'll see them all start to panic. And that opens the door for more downside. Because now they're all in at 60 cents.
Now the five sevens are stacking. It's trying to. And so I just covered a little bit more. Still 25,000 shares short. Up roughly $9,000 right now. And we're still pushing lower. And 55 really stacked up there quite quickly. So I'm going to cover some more. And so we're putting a lot of pressure on 55 right now. And it's holding, it's holding. A lot of prints going through. And it lost. So people are trying to dip by into that 50 cent area. And it might be a little bit too soon. So far, we have not been able to sustain the bid. We're still pressuring it down, 53 cents, 52. And we stacked up in a hurry there again. Yet we're still going lower. As we get to this 51 cent, 50 cent area, I'm just going to cover some just to be safe because this is uh, an important psychological level. Just the 52 cent, the 50 cent area. And it does look like we're bouncing here. The bid is actually supporting now and we are getting that uptick. So this is a turn. Quite an important one. And you'll see it just turned right there. It caught at 51 cents and it started ticking up. So I'm down to 10,000 shares. I've locked in roughly $6,000 with 3,800 still on the table. And then I just longed it in another account because that's that first turn that we usually look for. And I probably should have covered my whole position down at 58 cents, but I do think that there is room for more downside. You can see we're really stacked up here. And you know, if this bounce gets going enough, I will look to short into it. I've locked in roughly 6,500 out of the nine grand that I'm up. I have a long now from 53 cents, 7,000 shares. So another 700 to tack on at the moment. And again, I'm just going to use the level two to kind of gauge. Remember the last time we tried to turn at 60 cents, this is kind of where we failed, where a lot of longs got sucked in. So I wouldn't be surprised to see failure here. I like my long right now because it's kind of hedging my bet. I have roughly 7,000 shares long and 10,000 shares short. So if this does drop below low of day, I'll just sell my long and let the short continue to ride. If it decides to catch and then spike up towards green red, I'll sell my long as I begin to get ready to short. We'll find a better way to do these videos in the future without me having to panic all over the place and figure out how many shares I got in one account and open up other windows. Um, it's probably just a dual screen type thing that I need to ascertain to make this a little more clearer for you guys. And I'll do that in the future. I will. Nice. So far, this bounce is really looking nice. Um, unfortunately, I only have 7,500 shares. But now we're pushing past that previous high that we just made and we got a stacked bid and pushing up against the ask again. Those are looking nice. We've got that really nice big green volume candle here that shows you that, you know, the dip buyers came in and we had that really nice 30% or so panic. And that's the OTC dip buy uh, right into that 50 cent level, which is why I started covering. 
And now it's a matter of how high can this bounce go and does it set up for a good risk reward scenario? For now, we're still pushing. The bid is stacked and the ask is thin comparatively to against, you know, all these bidders that are in at 630 and 6.625. It does look like we're stalling out here though for a sec. It definitely looks like we're stalling out for a sec. So I'm gonna sell my long portion of it. Oh, we just stacked back up. So in that case, I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna let it keep on spiking and let the level two show me when to sell. I'm out for the most part out of my long. I just took that 10 cents, roughly 20%. That's good enough for me. I'm not shorting more here uh, just because the risk reward would be all off. I mean, I'd have a 70 cent average risking 85 cents, maybe even 95. And that's just too much of you know, margin to, uh, you can see the level two turning here. And that's really what I'm trying to catch on tape right now. Just the level two action. Um, now you see the, Ask to start to stack up again and the bid start to loosen. And uh, you know, it's a perfect level two turn. And a lot of people go after that level two turn. They say that you know that first bounce after that panic usually fails. For me personally, it just it screws up the risk reward to the trade, and I don't think that's ever worth it. Um, I'd rather sustain my eight thousand five hundred in profits right now than lose them. So that was pretty much the play for the day. I don't want to let this video run too long. Um, you know, it's probably going to start to consolidate and go sideways and then choose its direction, whether up or down. And, um, you know, if it chooses down, I'm still short. And if it chooses up, then I kind of want to reshort. So, um, yeah, that's it for the morning action, though. I mean, that's the beautiful uh, red-green panic right there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that first 90 cent turn on camera because I really had to figure out how many shares I had, which was only 5,000 from 94 cents. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get too much size filled up there. But then as it started cracking green red and we got there in a hurry, um, that's when I really laid in uh, into my short and was able to get 32,000 shares. And then from there, it just looked a level two turn and it's covered into the predictable area that it might have turned. And 47 cents, if you go back on the chart a couple of days, right? If you go back to this area, you can see that, you know, SHMP had a tendency to bounce off that line right there. And that's exactly where it came down to, that 50 cent level. That's not to say it's not going to, you know, crack it later on in the day, but that's the predictable move and that's the move you have to take. And if you want to be greedy about it and try to, you know, get it down to 30, 20 cents, you know, it's not out of the cards, but you risk losing some profits and you risk not being able to control the risk reward part of the trade and you might you know get scared out and do random chop and so you know taking 30 percent gains is nothing to bat an eye at and is quite impressive actually so you know that's my little that's my little tip right there you know if you a lot of people just you know they see the stock at 30 cents at the end of the day and they think they totally fucked up the trade and like no you profit maximized but that doesn't mean you fucked it up if you didn't make it all the way down to the bottom you know, predictable gains is what this whole stock trading thing is about. Familiarity, familiar moves. And the familiar move is this right here. And anything further is pushing it. You only need one or two 30% gains a month to be phenomenal, phenomenally profitable. So I'm going to stop the video there. Nice nine grand day for me. And, uh, you know, I might short more if we get a nice spike up to green red. Thanks, guys.
Okay, guys, now that the intraday chart is here, I wanted to go over some of the stuff we talked about, you know, at 6.30 a.m., and, and you'll see the results of how it all worked out. So, uh, you know, I talked about right in the beginning of this video, if you go back and rewatch it, I said there's going to be three plays that typically come on an OTC stock that is having its first red day. You have that initial red, green, green, red panic. You buy the dip at 50 cents when the level two turns and the volume comes in. The dip ends up going 50% from 50 cents to 75 cents. And then you can ideally take a reshort here and you reshort the bounce. And, you know, you expect there to be more downside. You have to, in this case, know your odds. Um, know the odds of, you know, what's it going to take for SHMP here to continue higher? I mean, you got to think big picture. The stock was four cents about a week ago, and now it's in the 80 cents. So when it bounces from 50 cents to 80 cents, you know, what are the odds that it's going to continue higher? What are the odds it's going to go through red green through high of day and then through the ones you know the stock is already extremely extended and when the air gets let out it gets let out hard and so that's exactly what happened and so like i said three plays on this today you can short the green red move buy the otc dip by panic and then reshort the bounce and that's exactly what i did i came out with 12 grand today um, on not, you know, insane position sizes, and it was an awesome, awesome, awesome play. And, you know, I'm glad we got it all on film. I'll work on, you know, doing better in the future, and hopefully you all can learn something from it. I think we did capture that level two turn at 51 cents pretty perfectly right here. And if not for nothing, that's the best part of this video.